Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Love, protected, safe I hope. Today we are going over Proverbs 2, 1 through 22. <clears throat> my son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, listening closely to wisdom and directing your heart to understanding. Furthermore, if you call out to insight and lift your voice to understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it like hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up success for the upright. He is a shield for those who live with integrity, so that he may guard the paths of justice and protect the way of his faithful followers. Then you will understand righteousness, justice, and integrity every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will delight you. Discretion will watch over you, and understanding will guard you. It will rescue you from the way of evil, from anyone who says perverse things, from those who abandon the right paths to walk in the ways of darkness, from those who enjoy doing evil and celebrate perversion, whose paths are crooked and whose ways are devious. It will rescue you from a forbidden woman, from a wayward woman with her flattering talk, who abandons the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house sinks down to death and her ways to the land of the departed spirits. None return who go to her. None reach the paths of life. So follow the way of the good and keep to the paths of righteous. For the upright will inhabit the land and those of integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land and the treacherous ripped out of it. Today, God had me go to Sam's Club in Rockford, Illinois. On the corner, just before the store, there were eight people with signs that read, No Jesus, N-O. No Peace, N-O. No Jesus, K-N-O-W. No Peace, K-N-O-W. God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ's truths, are alive and being spread everywhere by those who know the truth. Those who want to save you from Satan's pit of destruction and eternal damnation in hell. This brought great joy to my heart as it was quite cold today. Yet they sacrifice not only their time but their comfort to help save those who are unclean in God. After this I shopped at Sam's Club for groceries. While those same unclean evildoers tried coming close to me. Trying as they always do to intimidate me. To only leave in fear as they couldn't look at me or stay around me for too long. After my son and I were done, my father had me go to Walmart and directed me to a young lady at the checkout. He told me to pray for her, so I asked if I could. She hesitantly agreed, so I told her not to be worried, ashamed, or embarrassed by public prayer. After I finished my prayer for her and her loved ones, she said, I wasn't ashamed or embarrassed. I was afraid because I don't know if we are allowed to do this here while working. She then told me, I'm a Christian. Now, this is the lesson for from God today. God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ are not a religion. To be with them is to walk with them in their truth, laws, ways, words, and commands from them. To have prayed for salvation through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and God. To change who you used to be by renewing your mind in Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. To be taught how to live by them and through the Holy Spirit as they guide your life and steps to eternal life in their kingdom. It is a spiritual awakening that takes constant everyday practice and concentration to do this. It is a personal relationship with them, living for them and the truth of them. Jesus Christ did not come professing any religion. He came to show the world how to live according to the truth of the gospel, not to segregate people by religious beliefs built on man's own structure and rituals. To put anything in front of the truth from them is idolatry before God, and a direct ticket to eternal damnation in hell of which there is no escape. Let me make this very clear. Those who say I believe in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, yet do not follow their commands, laws, ways, words, and truth, are not of God. This does not mean that you will not slip into sin from time to time because you will all mankind are born sinners and as such are always at risk of sin the difference is those who are truly 
in God will seek repentance immediately for the transgressions from God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Not for fear out of what will happen shall they not, but out of love for them and the truth of them. For having defiled the truth against them, being remorseful for their sins against them, because of their love for them. Your sins will be forgiven by them when you repent with a truly remorseful, humble, and believing heart for them. Remember, God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, the angels, and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, caring, compassion, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, truth, trust, favor, anointing, forgiveness, salvation, steadfastness, faithfulness, strength, endurance, clarity, courage, and everything good of them be with you, always guiding you through. I love you all and have a great day.